my 2024 Texas trip is officially underway. And I am starting at what is actually my favorite park in the entire state, Six Flags Over Texas. In a few of my recent vlogs from Six Flags St. Louis, you guys know that there's a couple things that I'm really excited to do here. One of them is hitting my 1600th max score on Justice League. I am at 1591 as of right now, so I just need nine more and then I'll be at 1600. But what I'm even more excited about is to ride Mr. Freeze facing forwards. I know what a lot of you are probably thinking, why are you so excited to ride forward freeze? Backwards is so much better. I'm in a weird situation, unlike a lot of you watching, where I've been riding backwards freeze for over eight years now. So it's not really as special to me anymore as it once was. Whereas with forwards, I've never ridden it like this before. So this is a new experience for me. Plus, I remember spending countless hours as a child in Bugs Bunny Ford Fun, which is that play structure near Pandemonium in Six Flags St. Louis, watching freeze run over and over and over again. I was so fascinated by it. Hopefully, today's the day I get to experience it forwards for myself. As you can expect, I'm going to make forwards freeze my first stop and get that buggy list experience checked off. And I'm also excited to get back on new Texas Giant, Titan, and Shockwave, which I only got one ride on last time. I need to try that in the back row to see if that's as good as people say it is. And also I'll be trying Aquaman Power Wave for my first time today. So that'll be pretty cool. We're here for today and tomorrow. Let's go in and have a good day. Front row of fours, Mr. Freeze. I'm so ready. Oh my gosh, forward Mr. Freeze. That was every bit as good as I hoped it would be and more. That launch, the freaking spike. That was just an unbelievable ride. Better than backwards? I don't know. After one ride? Oh my. I gotta go do that again. That was incredible. <laughs> I think it's safe to say that I'm officially hooked. This thing is just incredible. I will say, I think I like the spike better forwards. I know that's controversial, but I thought looking straight up at the sky was more insane than looking straight down. But then again, that might be because of recency bias, because I've only ridden forward freeze three times. I've done backwards a couple hundred times. The launch I thought was actually better forwards too. I really liked how it didn't let up, although there were two kicks to it. The first one was kind of weak, and then the second one was the one that really shot you down the launch tunnel. And I definitely like the second kick better, obviously. We got some business to take care of, so let's go to Justice League and start working towards my 1600th max score. League isn't open, so I come over to ride Aquaman. Also close. So I feel like I might be smart if I just wait it out at either of these two attractions, see if any of them will open. Because I imagine these two will get huge lines once they do open. Now, especially Aquaman, because here in Texas it is really hot out, so it wouldn't be bad to try and wait this one out. Now, if Justice League opens before Aquaman, I'll do that first, obviously, but whichever one I see open first, I'll get in line for that one.
Aquaman and Justice League for a little bit, and neither of those are open yet. I was gonna ride forward freeze again, but I checked that line and it was pretty long. And I decided let's do Batman since I have not ridden this one yet. And I want to see if this is any better than my ride 2019. I rode this in 2019 and it was pretty rough, so let's hope it's not like that this time. <laughs> Definitely more of a rattle trap than the front, but it was by no means unbearable. I will say I definitely prefer the front over the back anyway. I thought it was more intense in the front. And now I saw that Justice League is open, so I'm gonna go over there and start making my way towards my 1600th max score. Man, is it nice to be inside of this building again. What you guys may not know is that in 2019, I challenged an over Texas YouTuber here known as Savage Mister. He beat me on this one because of home field advantage. And the event I do run into him today or tomorrow, I'm gonna get my revenge on him because I've gotten so much better since I last wrote this. Just like that, I have now maxed out three of the seven Justice League Battle for Metropolis Dark Rides out there. That is number 1592. And let me tell you, this was a hard one to get used to, man. The layout of the ride has me all sorts of thrown off, and then some of the screens were not easy. I'm definitely going to need to get back into the swing of this one, but the first one I killed it with. I feel really good about my performance on that screen. Man, that first screen is on point today. I've gotten almost 800,000 in the first screen on my second and third rides, and I'm amazed how well I'm doing at it. Now, if only some of the other screens were a little easier, I'm mainly looking at pretty much all of them to an extent. I mean, the second screen's a little harder, but I mean, it's hard at the Tiger Pale, so I've resorted to the backup strategy. The third screen in particular is a toughie because you can't even hit the crane on the left side. And I hop into this thing of electricity that I don't think holds any of the Justice League in there. But I'm trying to shoot that, I couldn't even hit that, so I had to find some other targets to shoot at, which made things a little harder. And then the fourth screen was tough, fifth screen's difficult. Yeah, it's gonna take some getting used to, but I think I'll get it dialed in eventually. Now, a double max, I'll be shocked if I can pull that one off. Now that I've gotten up to 1595 on Justice League, I'm gonna go ride Shockwave now. This is a coaster I really need to re-ride, having only ridden it once in 2019, and I did not ride the back row, which by all accounts is the best row for this ride. So, I'm gonna go try the front and the back on it right now to see how it is, because a lot of people say the airtime on this thing is insane. I never rode the best row, so I don't know how good it actually is. I don't think it's overrated, because obviously I never rode the best seat, but I'll judge it once I ride it, so let's go ride Shockwave a couple times. <laughs>
upset some people, but Shockwave, I wasn't too impressed with. I did ride the very front and the second and back. I don't know if the very back is better than the second back or what, but I was expecting a bit more out of Shockwave. I thought the front was actually a little better because the sense of speed up front was actually pretty decent and the loops felt more intense in the front, even though they weren't that intense in the front or back. A little bit overrated, but it's not a bad ride. But honestly, I thought Batman was more intense today and I never thought I'd say that Batman was more intense than Shockwave, but here we are. One ride I definitely want to get on now is New Texas Giant because I haven't done that one yet. And it'd be cool to see how the original RMC holds up because I've ridden countless other RMC since I last rode this, including Wildcat Revenge, Lightning Rod, and Jersey Devil, just to name a few of them. So let's go over to New Texas Giant and see how that ride is. was so much more powerful than I remembered it being in 2019. But it was definitely not better than Mr. Freeze, but you guys might not agree with me on that. I just saw that the backward side on Freeze was running and they have both sides going actually. So I'm gonna go try the backward side, see how it compares to the forward side. <laughs>
the backwards train, and after doing that row, I can with 100% confidence say that I prefer it forward. Since that road run, and back row, and the backwards train, back to back, I figured I might as well ride the front row of the forward train one more time, just for good measure. <laughs> That seems like something that would happen to me. I just rode Mr. Freeze forwards again, and yep, I definitely like it better forwards. Don't get me wrong, backwards is still incredible, but there's something about it forwards that I just can't get enough of. I don't know if it's the launch or the spike or what the deal is, but I love forwards better. Their time was awesome. The launches had surprisingly decent kicks to them. I was really impressed with this ride, and honestly, I think I might like that more in Shockwave, which I did not expect to. If it didn't destroy me too bad, I might go for a re-ride. But to dry off, I'm gonna go ride Mr. Freeze because on Justice League, there is a sign that says if you're drenched, you cannot ride, which obviously I just got destroyed on Aquaman. Rode forward freeze in the front row, and then I did backward freeze in the back row. While I do still prefer it forwards, I thought my ride in the back row backwards was much better than it was earlier today. <laughs> train was better than I remembered it being in 2019. In 2019, I thought it was pretty jerky and not that enjoyable, but while that aero drink was still there this time, I didn't have any issues with it. Overall, it was not a bad ride. Now I'm going to go hit my 1600th max score on Justice League and then try and get a ride on Titan before the park closes. <laughs> Just hit my 1600th max score on Justice League. First time hitting a milestone, not at Six Flags St. Louis. That is if you don't count the first time I maxed out Great America. Justice League is a milestone, which for the sake of argument in this case, I'm not. But still, one of the blasters, it was Yellow Blaster of Car 7. That blaster was shooting on its own in the first screen. Like, I don't know what was going on with it, but sometimes it would shoot randomly and it gave me like, what, 200 something thousand? So I used that one to max the first one, it got 870,000 with it. So I don't know. If I could still get that blaster, maybe a double max is in order, maybe but I'm not 100% sure. That'd be hilarious to actually get it. Let's get a ride on Panda Boy and Man Uh, do they ride everything? Uh, oh yeah, yeah. But it's, I mean, it's, it's, it's poster hunting, so. All the animal stuff over there. It was closed most of the day, so I was, yeah. I was happy they opened. 
Friday the night on pandemonium to end up my day here at Six Flags Over Texas. I was gonna make it Titan, but I knew I wouldn't be able to make it over there in time because I got off of Justice League. It was like 6.50. I'm like, there's no way I'll be able to make it over there. So that's why I did pandemonium. Final ride come from today was 10 on Justice League, 8 on Mr. Freeze, 2 on Batman and Shockwave, and then 1 on Aquaman, New Texas Giant, Pandemonium, and Runaway Mine Train. Overall, this was an awesome start to my Texas trip, and I got one more day. So I'll be getting on rides like Titan, La Vibora, and Judge Roy Scream tomorrow. So let's jump today too. of coasters being way better than I remember them being, I started my day with La Vibora, which was awesome. In 2019, it was rough, but it wasn't bad this time. Now I'm gonna ride New Texas Giant in the back row, cause I was trying to find time, but I got sidetracked and ended up here. <laughs>
riding new Texas Giant in the back seat. I think I like the front quite a bit better. The airtime was so much stronger in the front, although that's probably because it's running slow right now. The drop was good, but a lot of the airtime was better up front. I'm gonna get over towards tight because I haven't done that yet and I really want to ride that. The sense of speed throughout the whole ride is incredible. That upwards helix is just nuts. I would say top two helixes along with the legend of Holiday World. The airtime on that air tunnel before the upwards helix is nuts. I am so impressed and this thing definitely broke into my top two. Where exactly? Can't tell you yet, you have to wait till the end of the year. This thing is definitely my near number two in this park after the breeze. Door queue was excessively long, if you ask me. It kind of reminded me of the queue on the boss in Six Flags St. Louis. And we are now in the indoor section, and it's actually really nice and cool in here. Did you hear us? Did you hear us? Did you hear us scream? Please. Runaway Mountain, also surprisingly good. There's one maneuver similar to a dive loop on there that gave some decent air time while going into it, which I wasn't expecting. And then there's also a good flutter hill after the first drop, as well as a couple of intense helixes. So overall, I would say Runaway Mountain was better than Skull Mountain, but still not a great ride in general.
If you guys saw some of my recent Six Flags and Lewis vlogs from like end of April or early May, you may recall that I think it was Red Blaster Car 8 was shooting every single laser in the vehicle on its own. Blue Green of Car 1 here is doing the exact same thing. I maxed out the entire car because of it. Didn't expect that to happen, but here we are. I accidentally misplaced my camera over near one of the food areas where I was getting some water because it's hot out. So I had to leave the line for Freeze to go find it, which thankfully I have my camera. Otherwise I would have lost on my Twitter. I just heard that forward Freeze closed down. I think that we're running backwards now, so I'm just over here getting some shots of Freeze and Batman here. side on Mr. Freeze back open, but that line was long, so I figured I'll come back later. Now I'm gonna ride Judge Roy's Scream, because that's one of the last coasters I need to ride here. You all share a seatbelt. Well, please don't forget about that seatbelt. Once again, you all share
more like Judge Roy sucks. That is not a good one goes to right there. I only got one moment I think of airtime, maybe two. I don't know, I wasn't impressed at all. And on top of that, it was a lot rougher than I remember it being. So definitely not rewriting that one. My blaster was not working very well at all and it really screwed me up. Thankfully I got it in the fifth screen, but man, I didn't think I would get it. But so far I maxed out at least one blaster every single time I've ridden on this trip, which is pretty good. Now I think I'm gonna go check out Mr. Freeze and see if the run of the forward side. Mr. Freeze was just as great as usual, and now I'm gonna be getting some shots of Batman because I don't have much footage of it. And then I'm gonna start maybe getting some footage of Joker if that reopens. I haven't seen it run, and I don't know if it's open right now.
mini mine train, and even though I really didn't need to do it, I wanted to do it again just for experience. Mr. Freeze came through at the perfect time. There was one turn that put us where the train will be diving straight at us at the bottom of the spike, and it's not the section of track that goes right through the infield, it's the turn after the lift hill. Mr. Freeze's backwards train came dropping down the spike and flew straight at me while I was on mini mine train, which I thought was sick. Now I'm gonna ride Mr. Freeze one more time forwards, obviously, because I could ride it backwards at my home park. <laughs> some more shots of shockwave after riding freeze but it turns out they closed that area early since i got like i don't know 30 minutes left i'm gonna try and get potentially five more rides on freeze if i can i'm thinking about going for 10 forward five backwards total so let's head over there now and get those rides in <laughs> I just did a marathon on Mr. Freeze to end up my day here at Six Flags Over Texas. And my final ride count from today was nine on Mr. Freeze, six on Justice League, two on Titan, and then one on Lobby Bora, Mini Mine Train, New Texas Giant, Runaway Mountain, and Judge Roy Scream. Overall, today was a really solid day, and I'll review my ride count from the entire time I had here at Six Flags Over Texas. The audio from the outro that I filmed at Six Flags Over Texas was corrupted, so I'm going to wrap this up real quick here. My final ride count over both days was 17 on Mr. Freeze, 16 on Justice League, 2 on Batman, New Texas Giant, Shockwave, and Titan, and then 1 on every other coaster with the exception of Joker and Wile E. Coyote's Grand Canyon Blaster. In terms of highlights, getting to ride Mr. Freeze forwards was by far the biggest highlight, and also getting my 1600th max score on Justice League, as well as encountering a glitchy blaster. And on top of that, the amount of rides that exceeded my expectations was insane. Never have I been to a park where there were so many coasters that knocked my socks off this time around. Overall, this was a great start to the trip. And before you click off this video, please be sure to leave a like if you haven't done so already. Be sure to comment what you enjoyed about this video and be sure to share it with someone else you may know. If you're new to this channel like we saw, please consider subscribing for more content like this. My goal is to hit 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year, so I'd appreciate you subscribing and turn the bell on so you're notified every time I upload a new video. I also have an Instagram account for the pictures I take whenever I visit a park, so be sure to check me out there as well via the link in the description. As for my next vlog, it will be from the park that I consider to be my nemesis, Six Flags Fiesta, Texas. And I will be explaining why that park was my nemesis in that vlog, so stay tuned for that. And until then, I'll see you later.